Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading. I've been getting a lot of requests about looking into uh, looking into the elections for this year of 2020 uh, here in the US. And though I try not to necessarily get too involved with politics, uh, everyone's so sensitive and get easily rattled, uh, that it's just a subject I try to uh, stem away from. Um, back in 2017, there were some things that were, uh, some information that was given through Spirit, and uh, I communicated that on my Facebook, as well as on my Instagram. And those of you guys that have watched the January 2020 predictions um, have all come to be. Now, we are living in very trialing times, very difficult, difficult times. And um, I feel a little bit emotionally invested in this situation, uh, only because I feel that it is our duty to put out into the universe love, uh, oneness with all. Um, though we may have different beliefs, different uh, views, we are all one. We are all connected. And it seems like the, midi the media and everyone out there and on social medias, it's like you can't even post anything remotely political without being attacked or without someone just being nasty towards you. And I think that that is it's just ridiculous at this point. And like I said, I feel that it is our duty for those of us that have a platform. Uh, I know that we are living in trialing times and I've had a lot of clients express to me that they feel like they have no control of the, over the situation and that they'd rather just not vote. Uh, and one thing that I try to tell them is it doesn't matter who you vote for as long as you vote. And the reason why I say that is, again, I have my personal beliefs and I feel emotionally invested in this situation because I feel that this uh, president has highlighted a lot of the divisions between the people and that's the reason why we're in this climate of, you know, just a civil rising and uproar. Um, but our ancestors, our lineage, our people have fought to give us the birthright to be able to vote. So don't give up your birthright because you feel you have no control over the situation or because you feel that your vote is not going to make a difference. It is. And that's the truth. And oftentimes, it is important to understand that we may not completely change the world in one day with our tiny selves, right? <laughs> but if we all do a change and worry about our actions and what we do to try to make a better life for our kids, for our grandkids, for our loved ones, you're taking your power back. You are executing a very important, you are executing a right, a blessing, a opportunity to make change. So that's my spiel. Anyways, let's get into this reading. This reading is going to be um, very straightforward. The question was, um, will our current president be reelected or where, where, um, not where, <laughs> will there uh, be a change of power? 
change of government. So basically the question was, will the current president be reelected or will we be getting a new president? That was the question. Now, before we get into the tarot cards, I want to take you guys very quickly into uh, the information that I looked at. Um, now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that uh, Trump is a Gemini. Uh, but I know that there's like two or three different date of births out there for him. So there is not necessarily a correct one. So instead of looking at his astrological birth chart, uh, we actually looked at the United States birth chart um, or when the United States was created. Da, 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 da. You can find that online. Anyways, very important things to note. Um, the Jupiter and Pluto cycle. Uh, this is something that throughout history, of course, I'm a Capricorn, so we're going to connect with the spirit side, but also we're going to go off of history, right? Astrologically speaking. Um, I am a true believer that history always repeats itself, especially when we are at the climax where we're at right now. So anyways, Jupiter, uh, Pluto cycle, we always see leaderships being affected, uh, what this means is Pluto, uh, all the protesters and the medias take center stage. Uh, everything, every time we see Jupiter in the same sign as Pluto, where there's any type of power of abuse, it's overthrown or it comes to an end. Now, as an example, uh, you know, back in uh, September 2017, the Watergate repeats exactly in that timestamp of the chart. Uh, and October is a crisis month. Uh, what this means is that, astrologically speaking, looking at the events that have happened here in the United States, at the present time, the planet alignments at the present, October is a crisis month. And for Trump, the downfall or a takedown, astrologically speaking, is very highlighted. Now, this is not to do with political. This is to do with astrology. We have the election coming up in 2020. November. Now, looking at historically speaking, astrologically, 2021 is going to be a year of Democrats, not of Republicans. Now, you could be right or left side, doesn't matter. We're, we're purely looking at it from a st astrological point stance in regards to history and the past. We see uh, presidents who change, who change the system against the rich. Now, obviously Trump is for the rich, right? <laughs> um, Barack Obama is backing up uh, Joe Biden and Barack Obama owns Jupiter Pluto. This cycle is affected and activated in October going into November. Now keep in mind he rose to power when Jupiter was in the same sign as Pluto, which is rare. October is marked as critical for Donald Trump. Now, like I said, we're going off of the United States chart, not Donald Trump's chart, uh, because there's like different date of birth and times and stuff like that. And well, basically there's no, uh, you know, correct one out there or one that we can be able to look. I mean, 
if by seconds or minutes are changed, then the, the complete chart changes. So we're going off purely historical facts and looking at ex astrology when the planets or how the planets were aligned. Now, <clears throat> this may come or happen in two different steps. Usually in politics, this is when they get voted out or every single time that we see Jupiter in the same sign, like I said, of Pluto, it's a huge step down for any person or organization which has to, which has too much control. So this is something that is highlighted and has been very active for Donald Trump, right? It's all about control. It's about pushing the envelope. It's about bullying, right? I have to prove I'm stronger than everyone else. Thinking in some situations or occasions that he's above the law. This is too much power, too much control. And when we have this alignment, it's huge, it's, it's huge because it's a downfall, like I said, of any type of organization or person that is in, in, has taken advantage of the power they were given. Like I said, it's not about left or right. It's about power takedowns when this happens. Now, 2020 is almost like it's, it's, if you look at it astrologically, it's almost like 1963. It's all over again. Saturn in Aquarius and the North Node in Cancer and South Node in Capricorn. Now, there's repetitions. Uh, British uh, Labor Party elects. Uh, new leader in 1963, uh, Harold Wilson. Now this thing that's happened with Epstein and uh, Prince Andrew, 1963, Britain was uh, Britain was affected by the uh, Profumo sex scandal, I believe referencing to the royal family. America unites against racism in protest uh, from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. That's what's been happening. In 1963, that's when Martin Luther King led the protest. 1963, uh, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated and replaced. Like I said, it has nothing to do with left side or right side. This is purely astrologically. And uh, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Um, now keep in mind Saturn in Aquarius and the North Node in Cancer, South Node in Cap doesn't mean assassination. It just means it points out to historically transformation, change of government change of power all right so I just wanted to point that out let you guys know where we're headed let you guys know how the climate is looking now we're going to get into the reading like I said the question was will Donald Trump be reelected or will we be having <coughs> a new president we have judgment card this is the current situation, the current climax. Judgment. People want justice. People want to feel validated. People are wanting to be heard. The opposition, page of swords. Immature energy. Tyrant type of energy. Now, this is the obstacle for Donald. 
So having the need to restrain his temperament, being erratical, that's an obstacle. That's something that he has not learned to control or he has not learned to tame that side to him. Now in the past and passing, we have the nine of pentacles. What is the nine of pentacles? The nine of pentacles is all to do with finances, money, gains. It's not about the people here. It's about what do I get out of it? It's about what can I make? It's about do I come up? If I make this decision or this move, is it going to benefit me financial wise? And this is something he's been ruled by. This is something that you can see. Uh, this is part of his personality. Three of cups. Celebration. Threes can also represent options. It could represent options. It can also represent unexpected events. Turning. Five of Pentacles, illness, disease, death. This could be his, obviously we just found out his health is declining, whether it was a stick to get empathy from people. Keep in mind, if I do this, do I get something in return? Delusional. Being defeated. Pride. I see some type of refusal. Some type of hesitation in regards to some type of celebration. Now, it could be that the elections doesn't turn out the way he expected or the way he wanted. There's hope for the future. But what he doesn't see coming. Defeat. Now, keep in mind that right now we actually have. Ketu in Scorpio, I believe. Biden is a Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Wanting to retain power. Wanting to hold on. To power. Now, when we see the nine of pentacles, we go from the nine to the four. So again, keep in mind, astrologically speaking, October is a crisis mode type of month. There could be allegations coming out. There could be some type of legal issues that he may be dealing with where there is a fear or a panic of losing finances or of his reputation being tarnished. Losing material possessions. Two choices.
This could be the transferring of power, the transferring of keys. And not wanting or not wanting to accept what is, what the outcome has been. We have the Six of Wands, celebration. A win. The Emperor. Military background. This could represent Biden. I don't believe Donald Trump has been in the military. If anything, I think he he dodged it. <laughs> Scorpio energy. The universe giving an opportunity. I feel that his run, Biden's run, was very unexpected. I know that in the past, I believe a few times, he ran for presidency or he tried to run for presidency or something like that. Um, but I feel that he rose, in this situation, he rose unexpectedly. People were not expecting it. And this is the universe giving him an opportunity to rise to the occasion, to put him on the spotlight versus putting others in the spotlight that he's been around or been with. The lovers. Having to choose, having to make a decision. I, I really feel that I don't really know the backstory to Biden or how he became uh, the Democratic candidate. But I believe that, like I said, he rose to the occasion. Like it, that opportunity landed on his lap. And he made the decision to take it. Now this could, this is Gemini energy as well. So this can also represent Trump's energy, right? We have the Queen of Wands. I believe um, his wife, uh, Melania, I think she's an earth sign if I'm not mistaken, but they don't have her correct information either. So I couldn't look at her chart. Um, but this is right, the representation of the model wife. So they were not expecting to be competing with Biden. They weren't expecting. There was some type of unexpected situation that is going to put him in the front lines. It's going to, it could be that in the coming days, situations happen where people really start to see what they stand for and that's where they draw the line now keep in mind this can also represent uh the better situation for biden because of communication that came uh or recently came out in regards to the to the wife of trump to trump's wife the recordings or something like that that they were telling me i'm not sure but um that could be it as well and that's going to affect how people perceive and it's like they're looking towards the water sign they're looking towards scorpio they're looking towards biden for a promise for a new beginning for a change of course or a course of change being guided It's, it's so crazy because I see a lot of angels, a lot of spirits coming in, stepping in, trying to help, trying to guide people that feel like they're not in control of the situation or like they're not in control of their lives. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of illnesses, um, health issues, health concerns. And I feel that they're guiding. Everything is changing very quickly making Biden the better choice because he's genuine 
Now, I'm sure you guys have heard out there, right, um, that he's creepy, that, you know, just a lot of stuff that has been said about him. But with the Six of Cups, this is a genuine uh, individual. This is a person that really wants to create change. Now, what they're saying here is that there is expansion and betterment. There will be a change in dynamic to a better future, to law and order, to embracing peace or love or harmony, health. And I feel that Biden and um, what's that lady's name? The one that's running with him. Um, I can't think of her name right now, but I feel that she's a very practical individual as well. Now, side note, something to mention, both her and Biden were born under a full moon, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel that their partnership, their alliance, is very in synchronization with the same goals and desires. And that brings much more harmony. You guys, I'm going to be honest. It's going to get nasty all right i'm seeing a lot of scandals coming out i see a lot of strife a lot of strife happening here but justice will prevail the balancing of the scales will come saturn is there I feel a lot of things from the past are going to come out to the open. Things that have been like even people trying to blackmail on both sides. This is not just for Trump on both sides. But I feel that for Trump, it has a lot to do with his character. And that's something that people are either frustrated about or concerned about. Now, I know that scandals have already happened, but they are speaking about more things coming out in the open, and it has a lot to do with Trump. It has a lot to do with his shadow side, things he's kept in the hidden, things he's paid for, hush money, which we all know about that, but there's more allegations that will be coming out. People are at a point where there is a lot of confusion. There is a lot of fighting and bickering, right? But what Spirit is saying here is that things cannot remain as is. So there is almost like a tower moment happening. 
the wheel of fortune is changing and it's going to change the future. Lies and deceit, right? The magician is coming up and I feel like it's in the reverse position. So this speaks about what we call a charlatan or a person that uh, likes to lie, likes to create these stories that will make him look better, but it just creates confusion. People are not dealing with that anymore. We've been overcoming a lot of obstacles, but the tides are changing. The balance is inevitable. What goes up must come down. Yeah. Um, I feel that there's going to be some type of renewal of energy. This could be a representation of changing of government. This could be him walking away or being defeated. And I feel that that's not the end of it. I feel that there's more problems coming or will be arising for Trump, for his family, for his business. There's a new cycle. There's an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning where we're going to have much more optimism, leadership, balance, healing, and action. Truth will prevail. A new beginning for sure. And it's bringing a lot of anxiety or stress. Won't be pretty, you guys. But the lies, the deceitfulness, see exactly what I was seeing. The tower. It's a tower moment. <sighs> the people have said enough is enough. All the lies, the deceitfulness. Things that were being done in the hidden. A dictator almost, right? No more. Love prevails over hate. The tower. Transformation. Exchange of power. Changing of government. I feel that things will progress, things will better, people will heal. We will find balance and harmony. Ten of Pentacles is a promise for a better future. The temperance is healing energy, timing. Knight of Cups, an offering of restoration, an offering of Better choices, better decisions, better government. Wishes coming true. I remember when he won, a lot of people were crying on social media. This is contrary to that. Celebrating. So I'm going to go as far as to say that we will not be having Trump reelected. Now, my advice to all of you guys watching my channel, put love out, be positive, be optimistic. Don't bite into the hate and into the divisions and into all that nonsense. Let's change the energy that is being felt worldwide. 
we have control and power or over how we react to certain situations and circumstances. Never forget that. Go out and vote, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can come back and watch this at a later time to see if what Spirit Communicated has manifested. I'll see you guys then. Bye.